You know, then Voss proceeds uh, to speak about five different facets of God's righteousness, what he calls his forensic or his judicial righteousness. There are different aspects that we can consider that under. Uh, just to list them all, he speaks of a righteousness of cognizance, a righteousness of retribution, a righteousness of vindication, a righteousness of salvation, and then a righteousness of benevolence. Let's start with cognizance, uh, not a word we use all the time. What is he speaking about with this righteousness of cognizance, uh, specifically as God takes notice and keeps account of all moral conduct? Well, that that really, that sentence right there, page 251, is, is a key. The righteousness of cognizance um, weds the omniscience of God and his rectitude, his righteousness as God. And the the point is this, every single action, and this is so, this, uh, recognizing this is, is taking one of the first steps through the front door of biblical piety and recognizing how we all live our lives, Camden. Every single action of every moral agent falls immediately under the scrutiny of an all-knowing righteous God. So God's omniscience is tethered to his righteousness so that as the judge of all, all men, women, boys, and girls, all people everywhere are under the perfect surveillance surveillance of God himself as judge. And so his being God, Voss says, cannot be separated from his procedure as judge. That is, it is God the judge exhaustively, perfectly surveying all the actions of all individuals, all institutions, and all nations. And this is uh, something that is extremely encouraging for the believer. And it's something that is abjectly terrifying for the unbeliever. 